All right, guys, I'm going to make this quick and painful. Um, why quick and painful rather than quick and painless? Because for years I have been the guy that is preaching single point sling, single point sling, single point sling. When I, it's got to be going on two years now. When I set out to make the Tier 1 Citizen two point sling, I went to the drawing board and I said, what is it that I want out of this sling? Well, frankly, I want it to behave like a single point. Good luck with that. And then, of course, the answer to that, and guys, you gotta understand, there were all kinds of iterations of the sling. Uh, emergency release buckle, no emergency release buckle, bungee, no bungee, um, adjustable slider dealies. And finally I realized it was staring at me in the face in the single point sling, which is the bungee. That's what makes my single point sling truly stand out, is that bungee. Because it allows you to have that sling nice and tight where you want it to be on your body and the weapon just clings to you on that ring, but it's not doing that, that um, three-point, three the loop thing that was kind of all kinds of goofy back in the 90s. I had one of those years ago. It was a little busy. Um, so what I did was by sewing bungee into the two-point, it behaved like a single point in that it allowed me to set the weapon a little bit tighter than where I would normally want it to be because this allows me to stay in, to, in the sling as opposed to getting out of the sling to work with the gun. So this actually allows me the room by stressing the bungee a little bit. It allows me, basically I pull out, right there I'm stressing the bungee, and it allows me to rotate the weapon and work with the weapon to stay in the sling as opposed to pulling out and potentially losing that weapon because I've forgotten to get back in it. And so the reason for this video is, uh, not too long ago, I went over to the hidey hole where my rifle sits during the day and it's not this one, I've got an 11 and a half with a can on it. And it sits in a little hidey hole that I have for it at home. And I, I move it from where I am during the day to the back to the bedroom. And as I reach for it, in the darkness, I tilted it over because I want the sling to do this. I was very tired and I wasn't really thinking that there's a, a single point in that gun. So I tilted it over so that it would create this slack so that I could get into it. And I realized that as I tilted the gun in the darkness, I kept reaching for something that wasn't there, this portion. Because of course, a single point hooks in right here. And I went, okay, that means that now I need to go across the board two point. So the final gun that had a single point on it now has a two point on it. Um, the initial designs of this sling had too little bungee, too much bungee. Too much webbing, not enough webbing. And in fact, those of you who have bought a sling from me, I'm going to show you something, and you're going to go, yeah, that's mine. That measurement right there. Every sling I produce goes out to you guys with that measurement right there. This is the exact setting that all your slings leave the house with. The, the rear setting is exact because I've got a dowel rod that is precisely measured, cut off and sanded down, that I seat the exact amount of bungee that is also by measurement. It's seated, it's stitched, it's pre the webbing is preloaded, it's stitched to make sure that I have enough stretch in the bungee but not too much stretch. And then the front portion is also by measurement. I want to make sure that there's a certain setting on it. And the reason that I'm pointing this out to you guys is so you understand the slings that I run are the slings that you guys run. There's no change between them. Everything that I do is the same stuff that you guys are running. And I was talking to a friend this morning and I'm simply going to say this. I was talking to a friend this morning and I said, you know, it's really weird because I seem to send more slings to Virginia than anywhere else in the country. And then I started laughing when I realized what that actually meant. We'll leave it at that. It's cool to see that there are real hard dudes out there that are running my stuff. And I'm, I get regular requests from other parts of the world, but I can't send my slings out of the country because every single, every single component, everything on my slings is mil-spec. It's ITAR regulated, the stuff can't leave the country. Um, so it's really gratifying to see that, that these are in high demand and that real deal door kickers are, are running these slings. But anyways, like I said, I, I was reticent to do this video up front because essentially I was saying, I'm not running my own single point sling anymore. I am running two points across the board, like across the board, that's all I run anymore. I'll leave you with this. The question is always asked, well, don't you want to have that sling tighter when you're moving with the gun? Okay, well, 
yes, if you're in a keyboard commando world, but if you're actually moving with guns, you realize that it doesn't matter what your sling is, you have to manage this weapon when you're moving with it. There is no such thing as running with a gun, with the exception of in storage mode, but in storage mode, the bungee takes care of it. It actually puts the gun up against my back and keeps it there. This gun is not gonna migrate around because the bungee traps it where it needs to be. But if you're running with a gun, you're gonna be either running with it running with it, which is going to have to require this, or the way Pat Mac shows it, which I really like, which is pass it up to here and run with it. And when you get to where you're going, stop, pass it forward, and you're in control of the, of the weapon. So two-point slings absolutely are, are working for me. Uh, obviously my two-point slings because I don't like all the sliders and buckles and everything that go with uh, ordinary two-point slings. But these things work really well. And like I said, it's really cool to see that uh, real hard dudes are actually running this stuff. So um, with that, I'll stop. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Oh, thank you for your support because this channel is 100% viewer supported. I do not go the corporate route. So if you guys want to support this channel, um, go to the homepage, tier1citizen.com. Um, scroll down a little bit and you're going to see the featured products on the top right. You're going to see the little square that's got my logo on it. Uh, click on that. Run the slider up as high as you want it. I'll let you. Thank you for your support. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.